this is Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs and I'm here today with a video tutorial on the half double crochet in the back loop only. And this is going to go along with the um, striped blanket that you see on the screen in front of you. It's a really easy stitch. It's um, almost exactly like a half double crochet, but the nice thing about it is that it adds a really nice texture and you kind of get a ribbed look. So the first thing you're going to want to do for this tutorial is to grab some worsted weight yarn. I am using sea blue. Um, it's a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn color and I am using a tulip crochet hook. I would recommend a J crochet hook, but I actually couldn't find mine right off the bat. So I'm using a K, but um, I would grab a J crochet hook. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is half double crochet in the second chain and in each chain stitch across. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now I, different people work into the chain and in different in different ways. I like to work into this back bump, but this will work no matter how you work into the chain, but working into the back bump just gives the bottom of your work a really finished edge because this right here will be on the bottom of your work. All right, so I am going to half double crochet into the second chain. So this is the first chain from the hook. This is the second. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook into the chain and I'm going to pull up a loop. And then I have three loops on my hook. I'm gonna pull yarn over and pull through all three loops. So I've made my first half double crochet. I'm gonna yarn over and insert my hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. And I'm just going to keep doing that into every stitch, every chain stitch along my row. I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. So you can see these are my half double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And I'm just going to continue working half double crochets into each chain. So your first row is going to be worked just like you would always work when you're working with half double, half double crochet. Okay, so I just finished my first row, and now I'm going to be working into the top of the stitches. Now usually what you do, I'll turn my work, is you work under both loops of a stitch. So you would insert your hook under the first loop and the second loop, so just like that. But when you're working, I'm gonna do it in the middle of the row so I don't pull anything out. When you're working in the back loop only, you're only gonna go in through this loop in the back so you'll have the loop the front loop will be unworked and you'll insert your hook under the back loop only all right so let's see if we can do that so we are going to chain one to turn our work and then we won't skip the first stitch because the chain one is not going to count as our stitch oh and i forgot to mention on the first and last stitch of the row i don't work in the back loop only because it gives my work a little bit more of a stable edge um, if you work under the back loop on the edges, it's going to be a lot more stretchy. So I yarn over and I insert my hook under both loops for the first stitch and I work a half double crochet. And then now in the next stitch, I'm going to work only in this back loop. So I'll yarn over and you're kind of going down through the center of the stitch and I'll insert my hook under the back loop and I'll pull up a loop. There are three loops on my hook. I'll yarn over and pull through all three loops. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the back loop of the next stitch, pull up a loop. There are three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So you can see here, there's the front loop right here. My back loop is back there. That's where I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, insert your hook under the back loop, pull up a loop. There are three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three loops. All right, let's keep doing that all the way across. So we'll insert our hook into the back loop to make the rest of our stitches until 
we get to that last stitch. And on the last stitch, we're going to work through under both loops just to give our project a little more stability. Okay, so I've gotten to the last stitch of my row, so I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook under both loops, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. All right, so there is my next row. So now we're going to chain one and turn our work, and we're going to double crochet under both loops of this first stitch. And then we'll work in the back loop only, which is that loop back there, this one back here. So we will work under just the back loop on all the remaining stitches until we get to the last stitch. And then we will work under both loops again. And I really like working in the back loop only because it adds, like I said before, a really nice texture, especially when you're working with just one stitch for an entire project, which I like to do. I like the look of one stitch from time to time, um, but I do like to mix it up by adding the back loop only. All right, so I'm at my last stitch of the row, so I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook under both loops, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So you're kind of going to be able to start seeing the ridges right away. All right, I hope this helps. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions and happy crochet. Thank you.